Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to cover setting up the electron configuration of fluorine and neon. And I'll be using the diagonal rule. The diagonal rule works for almost uh, every element on the periodic table, but there are exceptions. And I will have a list of these at the end of the video. So first, let's write out the chart. I will start at the s orbital and number it 1 through 7. Next, I will go to the p orbital, number it 2 through 7, then the d orbital, then the f orbital. The s orbital can hold up to 2, the p orbital can hold up to 6, the d orbital can hold up to 10, and the f can hold up to 14. And notice it goes up by 4 each time. Now, I need to find out how many electrons fluorine has. And fluorine has not an atomic number of 9, so fluorine will have 9 electrons. So I will start at 1s. S can hold up to 2 electrons, so it would be 1s2. Next, I will move to 2s. And s can hold up to 2, so it would be 2s2. And now I have 5 left over, because I've used 4, so I will move to the 2p, and it will be 2p5. And if you write it using the noble gas, it looks like this. Next, neon. Neon has an atomic number of 10. So neon has 10 electrons. I will start at 1s, so it will be 1s2. Then move to 2s, 2s2. And that gives me 6 more, so it will be 2p6. And here it is written using the noble gas. Here are the elements that are an exception. And I hope that helps in drawing out the electron configuration of fluorine and neon. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe.